back with another video. Today I am going to make a diaper cake for a friend of mine at work. She is having a little boy and about another, I think it's about a month. So Wednesday we're having a baby shower for her at work and I just want to make her something for her little one. Um, I'll show you what I have. I have a bunch of diapers, obviously, because you need it for a diaper cake. I got this, they're size four, so they're a little bigger. Um, a lot of people get newborn diapers when you first have a baby. I don't see the point because they grow fairly quick, so you want something that's going to blast them for a little bit. I got a lot of things from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got this little cute rabbit. He's adorable. Um, some people think he looks a little goofy. I think he's cute. And then I got a hooded towel for after they get a bath. And I have a Sesame Street little Cookie Monster teether baby rattle thing. It says it's for zero to 18 months. So safe for baby. And then I got this little teething ring. You can freeze it and gives them something to chew. Kind of helps with their teeth when they're getting them in. And I got some Sesame Street baby wipes. And I bought some of the glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. These are only a dollar. You get 20 of them in there. It's not too bad a price for what you get. They do kind of not melt as well as some of the ones that I've gotten from Dollar or from Walmart, but if you're on a pinch, they work. Um, also got this little wash rag from there. They come with a set of three. Um, some of them have four. Uh, I thought this one was the only one that was really cute, so that's the only one I'm putting in. And then I got in the um, hair section at uh, Dollar General or Dollar Tree. They have these little rubber bands. Um, they're 750 in a pack and they're great for wrapping around the diaper. And then uh, I went to Walmart and I got assorted ribbons. I got a dark blue, light blue, some that says it's a boy, and then another light blue. I'm not sure if I'm going to use ribbon, but if I don't use the ribbon, I also have some material that I bought from there, and I just cut a couple of strips of it. Um, a lot of people use receiving blankets. Um, they're a little pricey, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on this project, so if somebody's doing something like this for the first time and you just kind of want to see where you can go with it and everything. Um, Dollar Tree is a good spot to get things. And then, I'm sorry, my nose is itchy today. I also got some baby powder, baby shampoo, and I'll be used putting those in the box for filler. I also got these little bags for disposable bags for your diapers. If you're out on the go, a friend of mine told me these are amazing. They lock in the smell really well. You can get these from Dollar Tree. They're 75 in a box, pretty good deal. Um, so if you're out and about with your little one and you don't have a trash can, you can throw it in there. It'll keep the smell in until you can get to one. So, and I also got this little pacifier. Obviously you won't need it right away, but later on. And then for my box, I got just an old Amazon box. I cut it in half and that's what I'm using. Um, you can use a shoe box so that it's perfectly straight and you don't have this crooked line like I do. I just lined this part with some tissue paper and that's pretty much all there is to that. So with that, we're going to get started. Um, I've already made some of these up. I have probably, uh, I'd say 15, 10, 15, something like that, of these already rolled and ready to go. And I've made two of the wheels. 
So I'm going to show you how I do these. And with that, we'll get started. Move this little rabbit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one diaper and kind of fold it in half, open it up and then fold it in half. Don't open it all the way, just kind of enough. And then you're just gonna start at one end and you're gonna roll that up. They kind of don't roll perfectly straight, um, then that's fine. Um, you Then you're going to need another diaper. That diaper is falling over over here. Um, and if you can't hold this together while you're doing the other one, you just grab one of these little rubber bands. Probably not supposed to chew on it, but it's fine. And then you just pop that around there and that'll hold it while you mess with this one. So again, you just kind of open it like that. Then you're gonna fold it in half. And since these are, um, some people call them a cheaper quality, they probably don't fold as easily as Huggy or Loves or something like that. But if you're trying to make something nice and on a budget, the Parents' Choice ones from Walmart are pretty good. Um, I got a pack of 180, I believe is what it was, and they come in four bundles like this. And they're a size four, and um, they have, you know, ones to newborn, everything like that. But I got the size four, and I think it was $17, so it's not really too bad. That's quite a few diapers. And then you're just gonna wrap this. Oops, that one broke. Some of them break and it's fine. They are, you know, just little bitty rubber bands, so they're not meant to stretch really crazy far, but usually you can get them to right around these. And then just kind of put it in the middle and there's a wheel. And then I need to do one more of those. There are tons of videos that I have seen and there's probably people that do these a little better than I do. Um, not a pro at any of it, but I do enjoy um, doing crafty stuff and um, makes me feel good to give somebody something. Um, my friend, she just had a baby last year also, and now she's getting ready to have another. So, She's going to have her hands full here soon. But these are very cute. And after you get the hang of them, they really don't take very long to um, make. So now I have my two wheels. And I'm actually going to take this ribbon, this blue ribbon, and I'm going to, I put this part right here where it stopped. I put that right there. So that way you can try to cover that with the ribbon. And then of course you're gonna need some scissors with this project. Um, the goal is to not cover any of the diapers or anything in the diaper cake with any kind of glue or anything like that because you want the mom to be able to use everything in the diaper cake. So with the ribbon, you can take your hot glue gun and just, probably helps if I put glue in it. So you take your hot glue gun and you put just a little dot of glue right there. And then you can adhere your ribbon to it. 
and then that's that's that part and if you don't want to use the hot glue you can also take a some of these rubber bands are just breaking today take another rubber band and just kind of pop that over top of it also so either way whichever way works for you and then what I do is I take a little bit of this tool just going to kind of a little bit I don't really measure it just kind of go right about like there then you're going to fold it in half again and then just cut just like that you take one of your little rubber bands and wrap that around that like so just make a little knot and then right in the middle of your wheel right here you're going to just kind of poke that in just until it looks like that so I'm going to do that with these other two wheels I got all four wheels done my table is becoming a little crowded and I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so with that um, with your box to start um, I'm not sure how many I'm not sure how many rubber bands I'm going to need um, or diapers I'm going to need so I'm just going to start with I took two of my rubber bands um, I got this pack of 32 I got these from Walmart for I believe it was a dollar 25 something like that so I'm going to take one of them and wrap it around my box like so and then I'm going to have to cut them to make them long enough so I just cut them in half and then just kind of tie that side in a knot and then just kind of tie this side in a knot and that one broke tie it in another knot fingers aren't wanting to work today so you're going to put one on the side and you're going to put one around the top and bottom so as you're making your diaper cake that way you can put them all inside that rubber band um, you actually want to put the one that's over the top you want to put it on first. I just did it backwards, so I'll have to take it, do that over. So, like that. Um, a lot of people kind of do it the other way, and then they try to move it in between the diapers, and I think that this is just easier if you do it this way. So, I'm going to start putting some of these diapers in. I believe... I rolled some of them yesterday to kind of get a jump start on this video today. Um, so I believe I did seven across this particular box. Of course, the bigger your box, the more diapers you're going to use. Six. And it just kind of depends on you um, as to how many you want to do. So I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, across the side, as you can see. And then for the other part, I did six. Well, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I did five. So you'll have seven 
on the sides and five here. And I have a couple more that I've already done. And you wanna make sure that they're straight in a row as good as you can get them. So when you look at it from the side, it'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if you look at it from the front, it's gonna look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven also. So this box is fairly good um, square. So it's gonna be fairly even, I guess. Um, but technically it's five in the middle, seven on the sides. So I'm just gonna kind of set this off to the side for a minute and we're going to roll some more of these. Um, I rolled them, these say back on one side and then that way you just kind of know where the back is. So to do that, you just kind of straighten it just a little. Just kind of start from where the crotch area and you're going to just kind of roll them up. And again, like I said, I'm not completely sure on how many I'm gonna need because I have not done this before. And this is my first one of uh, this kind. I have done a couple of others, um, a stroller and a motorcycle. I'll post those pictures along with this video. You just take a little rubber band and as you roll them and just kind of pop that over top of it and that's my seven for that side and then I need to do another five for the back so that's my sides and the back of my diaper cake. So then you just put this right back up here and you just continue to go around the rubber band. And that is the side and you just kind of straighten them to where they need to be so that it looks symmetrical or whatever and like I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna do ribbon around the um, entire thing or if I'm going to do this material um, receiving blankets are a little more expensive than I wanted to spend so I'm kind of doing a diaper cake on a budget I guess is what you could call it I think for everything total um, it's probably cost me oh, the diapers were $17 and then most of the stuff I got from Dollar Tree so maybe 30 32 something like that. Um, I've seen these on Etsy or Itsy, um, whichever way you say it, and Amazon and all kinds of places to where they're like 50, 60, 120, a lot of, I mean, they're very pricey, but I guess it's a lot of work. And, but if you enjoy it, you know, why charge that much? So, I'm not sure how many of these diapers I'm going to need to go around the rest of the top. But we will make some and see where we get. Now for 
the back part of the cake here. It's kind of weird that they call this a cake. It's not edible, so, but it is cute though. Um, but for the back part, you're gonna have this open area and these are just going to go on the sides. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these in here like that. Looks like I'm gonna need three at the top. Assuming probably five across since this was five, but we'll just kind of see what we get. Oops, I don't have any more gold. I might need six on the top. So we're going to try to position these to where they need to be. And we'll try to slide this one in here. what we got going on with that um and for this part we'll just roll up a few more and kind of stuff them in there and then I can hold that in with some ribbon or something like that yeah I think that'll work okay I don't want to do a paper cake like you've seen tons of videos on. Um, I'm just kind of trying my own little concoction of things here. So we'll go with that. There's four in the back and it covers up that cardboard. This is what our diaper cake is looking like as of right now. So with that, we need to begin working on the outside. So again, I don't know which one I want to use. Um, I have enough of this ribbon, maybe I can just do the ribbon around because you want to um, cover your rubber band in the middle. Kind of want to make sure it's in the middle like it's supposed to be. <clears throat> so just there's really no measuring as far as this part goes. You just kind of pull it and find a spot that you like, I guess, is the word. And then just kind of cut it off right there. And then make it even. Um, I suppose you could do the front or the back. Um, a lot of people do the back. And, um, Maybe I'll do the front. So I'll just tie it up in the front. So you want to make sure your uh, ribbon is even wherever you're going to put it. And then make sure it's not 
twisted or turned any way it's not supposed to be. After you tie it, you're going to tie this a little snug. So you want to make sure it's wherever you're wanting it to be before you do that. Just going to kind of tie a little knot right there. And then after, I'll make a little bow. So, add a little bow in the front like that. And you just kind of got to push your diapers around to kind of make them look like they're supposed to. And then you need another ribbon around the top. So I actually ran out of my blue ribbon because I used it for my wheels also. So um, like I said, you want to make sure you're um, able to use all of the diapers. You don't want the mother to not be able to use what you give her. So with a little hot glue, you can take this ribbon and kind of glue it to this other ribbon. And then oops, you want to let that dry. It takes it a minute or two to do that. And then you can pull it to the other side. And do the same thing on that side. our cake so far. It feels very funny to call it a cake. And with that, I'm going to take my baby wipes and I'm going to put those inside here. And I'm also going to take um, some more of these diapers and just kind of set them, actually, I'm gonna set the diapers towards the back here, put the wipes. We'll get a few more diapers. And then we'll do a few, a couple right there in the front. So this is what we look like right now. And then take your wipes and you're going to set them right there in the front with that. And then we are going to take our little rabbit and put him right in here like so. Apparently my hair is wanting to go everywhere. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and open these just because I think it makes it a little easier to work with up here. Um, you can take one of these little diapers like this. Probably should have done this before I put the ribbon on, but we'll make it work.
Like I said, this is my first time doing this kind of cake. So you're allowed to make some mistakes. I believe everybody does, so I'm only human. So then you put that right there and it makes it look like it's got a little fringe. And then with your little towel or washcloth, just kind of put that over your little rabbit. Actually, before you do that, you want to make sure you put your little blanket in there. Just kind of open all that. Just makes it a little easier to put them in a diaper cake if you take them out of the packaging, I think. So just kind of put this in here like so. You can kind of put him, I don't know, kind of like that. Make it look like you have a little baby tucked in to the stroller. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and fold this one back up and we'll make it look like a little pillow or something in there. It's always crazy that the tags are longer than they need to be on these little washcloths, but it's fun. So just going to take a little rubber band and put that right around that like so. And we'll just kind of tuck that right here by his head. And then you can take your little shampoo, put that right on the side, like so. And your baby powder, put that right on this side, like that. Just kind of tuck everything in where it needs to be. And then open all these little things here. pacifier here. Again, they won't use this right away, but you can take this little guy and put him over your little, and this one actually has a cover on it, so it'll pop off when your baby's not using it. It's going to run this little animal's arm right through that so looks like he's holding it and then with this now let's see we'll use a little bit more of this tool here not sure how much you're gonna need um, this tool is only I think a dollar 25 at Walmart so if you use um, quite a bit of it. Uh, it's not the end of the world because it's not crazy expensive. Go around Cookie Monster instead of through Cookie Monster. Maybe under this diaper.
twist that up a couple times. And we'll try to get him up there. Yeah. So we'll just do it that way. And then with this other part back here, I can actually crisscross that in the back and that'll help to secure these. Let's take a little hot glue. If it won't glue, you can just kind of tuck that up under. And that gives you a little more decoration in the back. This is our diaper cake so far. With your ribbon in your front, if it's not exactly perfect, because like I said, some of us can't do ribbons very well, you can kind of cut these at an angle. And you can use your hot glue gun and tuck your actual ribbon part down a tiny bit. to make it look a little better. Yeah, that looks okay. I actually took a piece of poster board that you can also get from um, Dollar Tree. It's a little thicker than regular poster board, so it's only it's still only a dollar um and as you can see i just kind of put that on top of here and then i'm going to take my wheels and i'm going to glue them onto this and then onto my stroller so i'm going to actually flip this little guy up like so and Take some glue, put it right about there. Glue that to that. And I need to glue my other other one to this side. And I actually just realized why my rubber bands are popping because eh, glue was hot. Go figure. Then I'm going to glue that one to this side. These don't have to be perfect, so don't think that they have to be absolutely 100% perfect. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to set this one on top of these like so. So there you can see I have two wheels done. And now we just have to do the other side. This 
This is a little complicated because I did it backwards. But we're making do with what I got. I just have to be a little more coordinated if you do it backwards like I just did. Which sometimes I'm coordinated and sometimes not so much. are just a little bit crooked and things so for the handle I just took some I think it's called garden tool or something like that they also sell this at the Dollar Tree and um, I just kind of put her band on either side here and then just kind of twist it and then I'm actually just going to poke that down in there, like so. And fluff it up a little bit. And to cover these spots here, I'm actually going to um, take some of this tool that I cut too short earlier. I'm actually going to put some of it up here on top. Try to make a little bow. I think it looks a little better with the tool because I'm not very good at it. So this helps me a little bit more. And you can take some of this ribbon, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. going to take this and kind of glue it up underneath this bow here. And then just kind of glue your little bow back to that. And as you can see, this says it's a boy. Kind of cute. And again, you can get this from Walmart. Um, cute little ribbon. And it was fairly inexpensive. I think it, I believe this one was a dollar thirty or something like that. It wasn't very much. Glue is very hot on your fingers, so be prepared for that. Okay. 
just kind of gluing it in little spots here and there to kind of give it a little more decoration to it. I don't really measure the ribbon. Um, this one is seven and a half inches by nine feet. So that's uh, enough ribbon for this size of cake. A little basket. Just want to kind of tack it here and there and then you can take a little bit more of your tool and they sell these in all different colors they have pink and yellow and green and blue I'm just gonna kind of tie a little knot in it gives a little poofiness to it. Then I'm actually going to cut right behind this one and put a little glue there. And I'm gonna use that to kind of cover um, the spots where I had the ribbon there. So kind of right here. You just kind of cover where that was and I'm going to do the same to the other side. Again, that just kind of covers where you put those and you can do a few more along um, if you'd like for a little more decoration. doesn't take a whole lot of time to do these. So you could just pop out a couple of them real quick. So I'm actually going to place some of those along um, this ribbon area here. So I'm going to put one right there. Fluff it out a little. So, and with that, I um, actually forgot to put these in, so I'm actually just going to set those down here somewhere so the mom can have them. And then, with that, that's my diaper cake stroller. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video and think I should do more, leave a comment in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye.